Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this Crenova Digital Endoscope. Previously I reviewed an endoscope that's hooked up to your laptop. Uh, this version here has a built-in screen and it has a built-in memory card so you can record pictures and videos while doing your inspection. So this is the unit here as you can see it comes with this nice long cable. I believe this cable is about 6-7 feet if I remember correctly and uh, it connects at the end here. You have here the camera along with some LED to display in the dark. You have here the user menu, you have an AVL cable, you have a micro USB charging cable for this. this has a built-in 2600 milliamp battery and then you have some accessory hooked to the end you have a little hook you have a magnetic piece and then you have a mirror piece to look around so your screen here is a 2.7 in quad VGA screen it's a pretty low resolution screen but it's good enough for this application and I'll show you in a minute uh, what this does the camera part here is IP67 ratings so it can handle wet and a dirty element no problem at all there's also a built-in light on top here and I'll show you all that right now so you can see here this cable is very flexible and it will stay exactly where you want it which is very nice so the unit here has some button you can press this button here to turn on the light up top there's a little bright light out that one is independent you can just turn that one on and off on the side here you have a slot and inside your slot you have the micro USB charging port you have the port for IV out and here's the micro SD card slot so this came with a 16 gig card so there's plenty of space for you to record small videos and pictures here is the front of the unit again you have this nice handle here uh, that you can grip on it's very nice and you can take this off of course but I have a screw on here for you guys so just turn this on by holding down the power button for a second and you can see and here's the screen so you can see here here's the camera and it has a very close focusing distance so if we were to point down to something closer like this you can kind of see how close this is has a very close focus in this and look how crisp that camera is so here's the closer shot of that screen look pretty nice so this is the case for the uh, action camera you can see that get pretty close and the focus in distance is pretty nice if it's getting a little bit dark you can uh, press this button here to turn the light on so there's a light setting right here you can press once there's the first level the second level and then the third level and let me show you the LED here so again here off on brighter and the brightest between the low and the medium there's a big difference but between the medium and the high there's not a big of a difference but uh, this really help in really smart dark corners so for example I have here over here a subwoofer a speakers show you that right now you can point that right now and we can kind of see inside your subwoofer uh, what's exactly inside uh, kind of give you an idea and of course if you add the mirror you can see around it so right now you see here up there it tell you what mode you're in so you can switch between the mode by pressing this button there's a video mode so if I were to press record here you can start recording here as you can see and then you know everything I show now will be recorded very nice you can also stop by pressing the same button again you can also do a digital zoom these are all digital zoom here you can do that so here is the logo and we can do a digital zoom like that you can kind of see and you press it for you have 4x digital zoom and after you press it a while it come right back out you can see right now you stop recording right now uh, you can switch to the mode by pressing the M button over here it just give you the playback mode for that video that I just created there's also a picture mode so you can press this button to take the picture for example now and that picture is saved kind of give you an idea and another one there you go so picture is saved yeah you your timestamp up here that you can enable or disable so let me go ahead and show you that in the menu button now if you go into the setting here you can see there's a resolution effect day stamp these are the things that you can change you can just pick them press ok and you can change here the picture of resolution you can see down and we can go down here and check the different effect for example you can see down and you go back out there's the day stamp right there you can enable or disable it by turning it on and off right now so the, the setting button take you back the menu button take you to the next setting so here you can have your typical standard setting daytime language TV out frequency output power save I have to set to 5 minutes you can reset and do all that right here and let's go to the video mode and if now you press the setting button you get uh, setting on movie size so you can record in 720p as you can see right now and then 480p at VGA and, and you also have the low resolution 320 by 240 I do want to point out as far as battery life uh, a charging just take about two hour and you have a 26 or 2700 milliamp battery I believe and uh, that's good for a few hours of usage so I've been playing with this for about a week now and uh, on and off just you know few minutes here and there and it still has pretty good batteries uh, that's pretty much this setup it's quite simple to use while playing with this I was sticking this under my air uh, conditional vent and I found that there was a ball down there from a previous owner there was like a, a little swishy ball I didn't even know it was down my AC vent and I was able to find those kind of things so that's a kind of like application for these the use unit here has a screen so it's pretty easy to use portable you don't have to carry the laptop like the previous version but yeah what it is it's just a fancy webcam on a hook that's designed for you to use in you know various uh, crazy environment and you can take a look at everything so that's pretty much my quick review of this Cronova digital endoscope I hope it helped you in your budget decision if you have any question let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you